So I know when I first got sober, my yeah, brain was, was a mess. Yeah, so like it was a couple times I had to call Marshall. Like, yo, I'm about to say these couple bars to you. I'm, I need you to tell me, did you say this shit before? <laughs> then I, had, I, had to, I had to call Crook. I had to call Crooked and do the same thing. talk about punchline now i want to talk about rhyming we kind of did that already um and like you said rhyming is a puzzle right like you try to figure out how you can fit words in the rhyme scheme and how you want to talk about things and one of the rhyme scheme that i really like i uh, you know off the allegory was uh i play forever um you had the that forcible rhyme scheme around shot a few two and what i love with that rhyme scheme and that whole verse is the fact that you have those one-liners within the rhyme scheme and you talk, you address things in your personal life and topics <clears> in the album and things going on in the world. Like your pop was brutal, right? So you're talking about, um, you're, like you, you talked about your dad, um, the charts are doo-doo, uh, you know, the game state of the game right now, uh, cops are cuckoo. I mean, we all know what the fuck's going on with, with cops today. Um, Shaka Zulu, right? African warrior. So it goes to the whole theme of black savage and, you know, black uh, empowerment. Um, shouts to Guru. Like, we all know your relationship with uh, Premier. And one rhyming that I really, like, you talked about things, you know, you won't, don't want the person to know where you're going. Is when you know you go um, hospital not growing up only doctor you knew was Dr. Dre, Dr. J, and maybe that Dr. Drew dude. Like when I heard that, it was like a Dr. Drew reference. It's so like out of the blue, and the fact that you rhymed Shaka Zulu with Dr. Drew dude. Like so, how when you have a rhyme scheme like that, do you have a bunch of rhyming like a like kind of laying around, and you're like, okay, now okay, I have a uh, Shaka Zulu, I have Dr. Drew dude, I have how can I put them together and it makes sense or you just write from top to bottom? Well, this one in particular, I've done that. I've done that. I've, um, there's been times where I've had um, a whole lot of syllable, a whole lot of matching syllable words kind of like this in my mind. And I've, I've, um, I've kind of, I, I did what I call air traffic control. What's that? You know, I just I just go in there and I I take all of the chaos and I just kind of organize it. I just kind of line it up neatly in a row um, where it makes where I, I feel like it at least makes a little bit of sense. This, however, this was one of those this was one of those situations where um, I was just writing it. And it was building and building and building and it was something about this syllable scheme that I felt like rolled off the tongue well and it, yeah. it, I, I just liked the way I liked the pocket that I ended up in because I didn't plan on plan on being in that pocket I just kind of landed there that I felt like okay well now I, I gotta figure it out I gotta figure out how to just drag it so I drug uh, it yeah, and, and I don't know why. When I heard the Dr. Drew do, like, it's so, like, it's people who don't know Dr. Drew is a celebrity rehab doctor. And it's not a guy that you would associate with hip-hop or that you would hear on a song, at least I feel. And when I heard that, I'm like, okay, that's it. Like, like okay, that, like, you can't go. After you, you, you rhyme Dr. Drew dude with Shasta Guru and all that, I'm like, all right, that's it. And I think afterwards, you, you switched the rhyming pattern. And I was like, damn, that was, like, 16 bars that's a dope rhyming and like you said like the way you drag it in and like i said before it's how like it's every line is saying something boom and boom and boom and just one-liners and one-liners yeah that's I, that's one of the dope verse man i mean they're like the verse on that album but that one the rhyming really caught my eye man and yeah that's thank you man appreciate dope. that and again on the rhyming topic uh i was because you have some annotational genius and on Psychopath Killer, uh, you said that you had a line originally, it was like, if it's, it's like the General Hong, I'm standing in front of a gun. But before it was, it's like General Custer sitting in front of a musket, but you had already rhymed Custer around that time somewhere else. But how do you remember that? Do you, I know, um, 
Wayne and M in an interview, they said that they Google their own lyrics. Do you find yourself doing that when you're like, shit, did I say that? Or did I rhyme something like that? Um, yeah, I think we all do that. <laughs> um, usually with, with me, I mean, you know, we all got different policies. Like Marshall has a, he has a strict policy. Like if he, if he says something and he thinks that somebody said anything close <laughs> He won't say it at all. He'll 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 scrap the whole thought, you know. With me, um, I love my ideas. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I love my ideas. I love my ideas. I trust my ideas. And um, if I feel like that there's a possibility that maybe I could have said it before, I don't, I don't think I'll go as far as to Google it. It's just I'll just I'll just you know if I feel like man this something feels familiar about this. I feel like that, that instinct is coming from somewhere. It's, it's, it's something there, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's my instincts telling me something. So either I'll digress out of it and I'll restructure it or I'll just abandon it and move on to the next idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. but that's very, that's very rare though, man. That's very rare. Like I don't, um, I don't, I don't even remember even being in that situation too many times. I know when I first got sober, my yeah, brain was that. a mess. Yeah, so like it was a couple of times I had to call Marshall. Like, yo, I'm about to say these couple bars to you. I'm, I need you to tell me, did you say this shit before? <laughs> then I had, I had to I had to call Crook. I had to call Crooked and do the same thing. I felt like everything, everything that I was saying, I felt like somebody I know said it already. I was calling my little brother Vish like, yo, did you say a line like, like, why do I feel like I fucking heard this line somewhere before? <laughs> my mind was playing tricks on me. Damn. Um, and, you know, we're talking about rhyming and syllables. And I wanted to look at I Don't Age, another dope verse off the allegory. Um, so here you have the rhyming pattern and the way like dope game, no pain and cocaine, they all land on a specific beat. And it, like what I do, I do YouTube and I break down lyrics. So I really like, I'm a nerd about that stuff. So you have like, you know, like a uh, pr pro product of the dope game. So that's six syllables and then mama wanted no pain, six syllable, papa wanted cocaine, six syllable. So I'm wondering, and then later on, actually, um, like the fly, fly in the sky, I'm the pilot of the soul plane, writer of the pirate, I was a writer of way before fame. And those, they all have the right amount of syllables to, and flyer, sky, pilot, writer, pirate, writer, they all land on the beat. So my question is, do you count syllables or at this point, as you write it, you have the rhythm in your head and you know exactly where the words are going to land and where the rhymes are going to land? Yeah, I know where they I know where they're gonna land. Um it, it's just years and years of practice. Uh, when I started out trying to like achieve a uniform sort of verse, that's what I kind of call it. A uniform mm -hmm. where every line kind of every every line kind of fits in a slot. Um I could just do it now. Like at first it kind of felt like you throwing the lines at the beat. And they just, you know, they're landing. You're trying to get them to land somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I've been doing it so long, I just put them there. It's, it's just easy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to feel right. If it's not the right word, if it's not the right syllable, if it's not the right pronunciation, it won't feel right. I literally have to punch the line over and over. I didn't write this down either. Because it, it just kind of... Each line goes with the next line, you know, like this, a song like this would be kind of easy for me to memorize when I'm performing it because one line jogs my memory to the next mm, because they all, they all are a part of each other. It's just like a, it's like a, um, like a grid, you know, it should all look the same. You know, it all, it all fits. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And, um, you know, uh, my videos, I highlight the rhymes and other people do that. But when you see like your own verse and you see the colors, does it look like what it looked in your brain? Like you look at that like, man, that's dope that I did that shit. Or <laughs> I would just like to actually look at your rhyme because 
and see the vision that you have in your brain and then see the colors and things like that. It's always interesting to see, see them with the colors. Nah, they don't look like this in my head. Um, <laughs> what, what do the colors represent exactly? Each syllable? Yeah, yeah, the rhyming, the words. So fly, sky, I, right, okay. fire, rider, right. And okay. then the O sound, stove. Okay. Actually, forgot, right. So stove, soul, full, rose, expose, and those things. Um, yeah, so that's that's how um, I, I do it. And, can't, I can't really I can't really remember what they what they look like in my head. Um <laughs> I just know I just know I kinda um I kinda get an idea of like what I wanna say each line. And then like the the um the t the task is just the task is to make it fit, make it pick the right words to make that point. You know, you can make a you can make a certain point, but it's there's so many ways to word that mm -hmm. that point. It's yeah. so many different pathways you could take to a point. You know, uh sometimes you gotta take the scenic route in order to get it to, to match. You know, so the key is just to, on this particular song, the key is just to get it to match, you know. So um, I wasn't saying anything um, that was going to, you know, re reinvent the wheel. Yeah, I know. The key here was just to do something. It, it was just to do something uniform, something extremely uniform, something um, that's easy to remember that's so connected in terms of sil syllables. It's so connected and it's so uniform that it, it almost resembles a melody, mm. you know, like um, like when 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 Hove said, "I am Hove, sure you do." I tell you the difference between me and him, you know, it's like going into that "I am Hove." It's 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 like there's like a uniformity there that that's like that's just it's it's just part of it. You know what I mean, like. He didn't have to write it down. It's just kind of like it works, you know, mm -hmm. and it couldn't yeah. just be it couldn't just be anything. It couldn't just be, um, you know, dirt off your shoulders couldn't be get that and off your back. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it has to be dirt off your shoulders. Yeah. yeah. So the key, the key, the, the task is just to find out what the words are. And like the beat will literally tell you, you just got to find it. And that's that's yeah. what, basically what I was kind of doing here. Yo, what's good? I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be releasing more clips of my interview with Roars the 59. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified for new clips. But in the meantime, if you're new to my channel, I do lyrical breakdown of rap songs, mostly Eminem, but other artists as well. So please check out my other videos. Thanks, it's been real.